Happy Wednesday. Thanks for clicking to WYTV.com. I'm meteorologist Ryan Halicki. We're in the midst of a very active pattern setting up. Several storm systems I'm watching. One of those coming through this evening with some raindrops for the valley. During our Wednesday evening overnight, that rain starts to pull away. We'll be waiting on a cold front for our Thursday, but before that gets here, temperatures will be warming up. In fact, that'll start overnight. The coldest part of our Wednesday night into Thursday morning will be early. Temperatures jump a few degrees into the start of your day, and highs will head into the 50s with a pretty decent southerly wind setting up. Your uh, Thursday will be a little windy with the potential by morning for gusts upwards of about 20 miles per hour into the late morning and early afternoon. That wind gust potential jumps to about 25 to near 30 miles per hour possible. So not an extreme wind, but certainly a blustery afternoon. Still looking a little bit of a brisk wind for Thursday night by Friday. It's not as much of a factor. Temperatures by Friday morning will be much colder though. So we'll have these showers around early tonight overnight that ring tapers. I wouldn't be surprised to see a sprinkle or a little bit of drizzle at times and into the morning watching for a few more raindrops possible as that warm air gets set to really push in. So starting our Thursday off, uh, we'll see a lot of clouds around and under a few of those while you may encounter a couple of raindrops heading into the afternoon. Rain chance is not looking too impressive here. We'll see that wind in place and much warmer air as we jump into the 50s. Now for our Thursday night, we start seeing that colder air coming back in. This cold front is not going to have a whole lot of moisture to work with. So again, the chance is there for a sprinkle or a passing flurry as the colder air takes over, but it does not look like much of an impactful setup for us as we go overnight into Friday morning. Temperatures will drop back into the 30s and then our highs Friday. Well, they're not going to warm very much. Friday, I'm watching for a lot of clouds and you notice the model hinting at some snow mixing with rain. We'll have the chance for a couple of snowflakes. I also think we could see a little bit of that drizzle that fine mist around on our Friday, especially late morning through at least early to mid afternoon. Something we'll be watching for temperatures. They don't warm as much here, but we'll see a few more days where those temperatures jump as two storm systems approach into next week. One of those comes Sunday night into Monday. I'm watching for some rain with this to start, but it goes over to snow on the backside. We'll need to keep an eye on that, but this does not look like a major setup for snow. As of now, we're going to keep a close watch on this into the start of your work week, though, as that could change if that's colder air arrives before we can get that uh, rain out of the area. We'll see that changeover potential there a little earlier in the day. That could be a bit more impactful into your Monday night. Now, uh, Tuesday into Wednesday, this is the storm system I'm watching a little more closely. Your Wednesday setup here. Notice the swath of snow on the northern fringe of the storm. Well, the data coming in is not agreeing on the exact track this low takes, and that track is going to determine just how impactful this is. We could be setting up here for a swath of some snow that comes into at least the early morning Wednesday before a change over to rain. That would be a little bit more impactful, especially with the timing of that. So we're going to watch this closely. This is still about seven days out. A lot of time for this to change and the variables impacting the track of that still need to uh, be realized here by the model. So we're going to be closely monitoring this. It's a day you'll want to stay updated on. Of course, I'll be tracking that for you as we head through the week for tonight. Showers, some sprinkles early on 40 the low, but that's early by morning. We're in the mid 40s still could be a couple of raindrops to start your day. You're going to notice a brisk wind throughout your Thursday with a much warmer afternoon as we jump to the lower 50s. Now we'll have a lot of clouds around and that's chance for a sprinkle there for Friday. Watching for a couple pockets of drizzle or some flurries and it's not going to be as warm. Saturday the weekend off to a nice start and then Sunday those clouds building back in by Sunday evening. Some rain showers around. Notice the temperatures. They jump again on Sunday nearing 50 degrees. Monday, well it will be mild to start. We'll see those temperatures falling. That rain mixes over to some snow. Watching for some accumulation right now, keeping a close eye on your Monday, but the more impactful storm system, the better potential for that could be on Wednesday where we see that storm system. The track will determine if we see more of the snowy side of it or more of the rainy side. Right now, both scenarios are on the table, so you want to keep a close watch on Wednesday. Right now, looking for a high around 40.